Yeah, you gotta show and prove, <laughs> man. Even you, even you for the game when you're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you can't be halfway we'll in and halfway you out. Chew you in and spit you the fuck out. Oh yeah, that's a definite. Really, just spit yourself the hell out. But yeah, that's a definite. Yeah, right. yeah that's a definite. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we were talking before we even got on air. You were saying something about one of your tracks called "No Justice, No Peace." I'm gonna play that next afterwards in the background. Yeah. Well, can we talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. It was, it was crazy, man, because when I made the track... See, a, a lot of people might think I made the track after the Freddie Gray thing happened. No, right? you didn't. But, I, <laughs> I mean, if I did, cool. But the thing was, um, back in in August, I had experienced a lot of death. And we know with the passing of Ooh, right. in June, the it was like... That was like rough to come off of. But then like in the month of... Between August and September, I had experienced like maybe four different deaths by people that were close to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying And one of them was uh, My cousin uh, Devin Cook Who was murdered Right You know what I mean He was a young You know Kid who um, He had a uh, He had a You know He played lacrosse You know what I mean For uh, What was it Catonsville Community College Like it was a big thing mm. In the city When he had got murdered It was all over the news And everything The man was trying Everybody was trying to figure out Why they did it And all right. that other stuff But Like I saw my family Going through a lot of pain It was It was very painful You know what I mean To go through And then right after that the whole Mike Brown situation happened. You know right. what I'm saying? So, at that point, when I was making a record, it actually just happened. Like, the song just happened. Like, I just right. started making a track, and it started feeling... It started, I guess, emotionally, it was doing everything that I wanted it to do. And, you know, music heals, right? So, I was making it to kind of, like, heal myself. And then, uh, it started turning into something else. And so, I got grabbed a few clips and put it together, and it just it became, you know, a song. After a while, you know so, what I mean? so now I hear there's possible video. Oh no, there is a video. This is the next okay. single. This is the next single for the record. The next single off of the record. Yeah. After the Sean yeah, Austin, I mean, um, substantial. Joint. After, yeah, after the substantial joint, um, they was like the, the label decided that this was going to be the next single. And so okay. we're shooting a video in several several different locations around the country. Actually, we have artists in different cities right. that'll be contributing to the to the, um, to the video. Uh, so that's dope. That's dope. It's gonna be real cool, man. We put everything together. Uh, uh, you know. That's that's just yeah. really dope, man. Because I mean, especially like you said, what was going yeah. on? Like even when all that went down, like I ain't gonna front the Baltimore joint. It kind of like propelled a lot of other dormant, upset individuals to kind of come together and react to the dumb shit that's going on and yeah. then at the same time it's allowed the devil to expose his head even more because now you're hearing even more about cops going off the chain all over the world yeah. not just even here in other countries I mean, it's been going on for a long time but it's like people are not taking it anymore and we're going to expose this shit and either you're going to change it or we're going to have to go to war yeah